Sudan's paramilitary rapid support forces has denounced U.S. sanctions imposed on two of its leaders. The U.S. this week slapped sanctions on the RSF's deputy commander, Abdel Rahim Dagalo, over alleged human rights abuses. On the same day, Sudan's military leader, General Abdel Fattah al burhan dissolved the paramilitary group. Here is CGTN's Anastasia Waweru with more. Two constitutional decrees with one aim to render the paramilitary rapid support forces in Sudan inoperable. The order to officially dismantle the group came from General Abdel Fattah al burhan Sudan's military chief. The rapid support forces law that also allowed the outfit to maintain its legitimacy has been revoked. The RSF was first established as a support force to the Sudanese army in 2017 before later being recognized as independent from Sudan's military. Of course, the decision has major political and military dimensions. The first thing is to cancel the status that the group had. He declared it a rebel group and now he has dissolved it. It does not exist. It was claiming to exist under the 2017 law, so now this law has been repealed and its legal status has disappeared. However, RSF leaders have dismissed the move saying Burhan does not have the legitimacy to dissolve the forces. The paramilitary soldiers have been accused of rebelling against the state. Among other assertions against them is that they have committed human rights violations and deliberately damaged infrastructure. The decision to dissolve the rapid support forces, I believe it is a timely decision to block the way for the militia to communicate with any international bodies obtain legitimacy or move the legitimacy. Sudan's main civilian group, the Forces for Freedom and Change, have welcomed the dissolution of RSF. The talk by Freedom and Change regarding the mechanism for dissolving the rapid support forces is one of the slogans of the December Revolution and a basic demand of the Forces of Freedom and Change. Sudan descended into chaos about five months ago after a fallout between the army led by Burhan and the paramilitary forces. Anastasia Waweru for CGTN.